One of my favorite things to do in space engineers is to try to fit as much stuff in a small space. This was an experiment to see how many extended piston lengths I can fit in the height of one retracted piston. So the sort of test idea for that was a lift platform. Now, the, the thing about a lift platform is, in general, I think space engineers is a little bit too easy on Earth. I realize it's, you know, because kids will think it's too difficult more than a beginning. But um, it's a little silly, I think, that you can just take three hydrogen bottles and fly halfway around the Earth, uh, you know, and if you fly parabolically, like one and a half times as long as far. It should be harder. We should need scaffolding. We should need lift platforms. We should need um, all kinds of infrastructure to get higher. Uh, you know, right now it's too easy. Anyway, so this concept kind of assumes that that's what's needed. So an engineer can't just float up to do something. He'll need a ladder or something, or to build some blocks or something. And then at a certain point, it would get tedious, and he'd get on a little lift platform and he would say go up and that would take him a certain distance up. So it's not bad, it's one piston, you get like what? Two and a half human heights? So basically a block. Not bad. Um, and this is one piston, this is super simple. And I thought alright, let's see if I can put two piston heights in the same height. Uh, and it's possible, and it's not even that difficult. So that's pretty good. I mean, the whole concept of like the whole platform sitting on one attachment in the middle is very, very wonky. But you know, it's space engineers. We have to suspend this belief a little bit, <laughs> a lot of it. So, all right, two pistons is not bad. Uh, the next attempt was three pistons. Fuel critical. And this is still inside of the same sort of footprint that I managed to squeeze it in. I wish space engineers had dedicated blocks for um, sort of construction, like I'm using the LCDs here. Because the problem with this is also if you build this with the uh, well, if you could build multi-grid uh, blueprints, any welder would build these LCDs. You know, there's no way right now to limit uh, a block to what it was, to, you know, to its sort of build limit in the blueprint. Uh, but it works, and it's not too complicated. The next attempt, I tried four. Four didn't really work out because you can't. It, it doesn't work like geometrically, so I had to go with five. And five is tricky. It's essentially still one piston length when retracted. When extended it looks like this. Right, so it's one, two, three, and five piston, extended piston lengths from one. And that's like not bad, you know? In this situation, if you're playing like an ultra hard space engineers, or maybe they will retune vanilla down the line where it'll become harder on Earth, this thing gives you a lot of uh, help for working, you know, on tall ceilings and stuff. I mean, you can imagine any kind of situation with this. <laughs> I tried putting the new seat, but that seemed like overkill with all the dials and stuff, so I just kept the passenger seat. Yeah, and, you know, we could do some work move the platform along. Again, in a situation where you're trying to go for some kind of pretend game realism, I think this could be a useful industrial-like 
creation. Fuel critical. This was quite a bit trickier. Uh, just because of all the merge block uh, connections that I had to make. It's essentially the same thing. Three LCDs that join. And, and I had to use these half quarter blocks and, and all this weirdness just because that's the only thing that would fit, you know, from the top. There's a lot of space that has to be occupied. I wish the game would have dedicated blocks for this with small uh, hit blocks, hit boxes, whatever, hit cubes, that wouldn't uh, interfere with each other. Uh, but as it is, this is the only way to fit this much stuff in uh, space like that. It doesn't necessarily even have to be a platform. I mean, I think this kind of mechanism could be useful for work. Why aren't you working? For other stuff. Uh, let me take it off. I guess it's going to be... So this is what you're looking at. And let's kill the wheels. Alright. So essentially this is a frame that holds uh, a telescopic mechanism. In this case it's like a meta-telescopic mechanism. This could Work like this, for example, in space. This is the side of your ship, and there's a thing that comes out on the side to do whatever. Uh, not a gun. There's not, well, a tiny gun. Uh, well, actually, no, because, yeah, this <laughs> none of this is going to be connected to anything. Uh, I don't know what could come out. It could be something for dramatic effect, whatever. But, you know, you get some distance. Possibly you could do this with large grid, but I mean, that's a pretty large, large grid just for something that sticks out. Although, you know, you never know, maybe somebody could try. Uh, but it does hide into itself quite compactly. And it looks pretty scary, but and it is pretty scary, it shouldn't be this scary. We should have special blocks for this kind of stuff. This took me a while to figure out so that nothing touches anything else. So, you get a nice tidy box that can shoot out pretty far. Thanks for watching.